Guys, Zorro sitting here next to me is a legendary drummer and a life coach known as the Minister of Groove. He's very passionate about helping people soar into their God-given dreams. We're so honored to have you here. Zorro at Real Life. Awesome to be here, Amy. Thank you so much for having me. Now, with a name like Zorro, you cannot have just some simple, boring life. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Tell me what makes you a legendary drummer. Well, I've spent the last 35 years playing around the world with many different famous artists, yes. uh, beginning with a group called The New Edition. Uh -huh. I used to work with Philip Bailey of Earth, Wind & Fire, and then I played so with cool. Bobby Brown and mm -hmm. Lenny Kravitz and Frankie Valli in the Four Seasons, so many, many different pop and R&B of rock stars around the world. So that's how I got, and Lenny Kravitz gave me the nickname, the Minister of Groove. Now that is like epic in itself <laughs> when Lenny Kravitz is giving you a nickname. Oh my gosh. Well, okay, the Minister of Groove. So people might look at you and think, oh sure, like he was born into privilege. It was probably easy for him to sort of rise with that, because not every drummer that dreams of drumming makes it to that level of success. True. So what would you say the person said, oh man, of course it was easy for him? Well, I grew up with a single mother and seven brothers and sisters, so yeah. already that has struggle written all over it. There was one point in our lives when we lived in a 1962 Chevrolet Nova mm -hmm. and a 13-foot trailer and then a tent. So we, we, we struggled, and by the time I was in fourth grade, we moved about 23 times. Wow. So nothing in my life came easy, uh, but all of those struggles is what gave me strength today. It's what mm -hmm. gave me a sense of urgency in the way I do life. Everything to me is important. Every moment is important, yeah. and I seize every moment to, to advance God's kingdom because of the desperation of childhood. Okay, so why soar? Why is that so important? Is it soaring like an eagle? Is it flying high in life? What, what's soar all about? Soar is basically, I have children, and mm -hmm. my goal with my children is to see them fly, yes. to see them take off, to yes. see them soar. Right. Every good parent mm -hmm. wants to see their children flourish. Yes. God is our parent. We are his children. That's right. You think he does not want to see each one of us soar? He wants to see us reach the unlimited potential he put inside of us. Each person has unlimited, unlimited potential, right. and he wants to see you mine that potential out. Right, and so that's what we're talking about today. We're going to mine, we're going to discover and develop and deploy that, that purpose in people that are watching right now. Absolutely. So you did some really practical things to sort of develop your purpose and your gifting. Tell us what you did. Well, everything that I, everything that I had started off as a vision or a dream, yeah. and everything that... It, it, and each person's heart is a vision or a dream for something. So it starts off in that state because God gives us the ability to dream. Okay. But then we must follow, we must follow uh, principles to, to live that dream out. And that's right. where many people go wrong is they have the dream, but they don't know what it takes to map it out. Right. And God is very orderly and there's strategy and there's structure in all of his visions and dreams. Yes. And that's what SOAR is about is teaching people that process. My okay. first dream was to be a drummer yeah. and then a speaker and a teacher and a writer. And I've walked through those life principles over and over over to fulfill each one. Yeah, so you said a couple of key words, practical and strategies. We need to get down in the dirt. How can we take that dream and get it from just pie in the sky down to reality? You did something in your book called short-term goals and long-term goals, which I think are really underestimated or sure. under, you know, people don't think that's a big deal, but it's huge. It's a huge deal because it takes it takes some thinking through the process to write out what it is you want to accomplish. If right. a, a person without a vision or a goal is going nowhere fast. So right. I, I suggest to everybody to write out what would you like to accomplish by the end of the year. It, yeah. it could be anything, but mm -hmm. it could be a diet. It could be I want to, you know, for instance, when I wanted to learn how to write a book, uh -huh. I bought about 15 books on how to write a book. I love that. So I, yeah. I researched. My mm -hmm. goal was to learn how does the publishing industry work. So right. there's always an investment that has to be made. You always have to step out in faith and make an investment. But but goals are, are what keeps you on track, what keeps you on point. You have to have something you're going for. That's otherwise right. you're headed nowhere. Right. As I was reading through this, it was, it was practical. It was inspirational, it was applicable, it was very helpful to bring out and develop that purpose in life. But what about somebody that says, but I don't want to struggle to see my purpose come forth. <laughs> I don't want, can I just have the purpose without the struggle? Well, let me tell you something. You're going to struggle just by living on the planet. <laughs> so one way or another, breathing. you're going to struggle because life is a struggle. Right. But I'd rather be struggling towards the vision and the purpose for which God yes. created me. Boom. So I'm fighting, I'm, I'm struggling, but I'm fighting and falling forward. 
instead of just backward. Right. We're, we're, we're going to experience, you know, opposition. We're going to experience setback yeah. and disappointment. But the, the point is we need to fight forward. And I have learned to do that. And every vision that God gave me has come to pass. So wow. it does work. These yeah. strategies work. You wrote down in your, in your, one of your chapters, five questions about your future. And I thought it was, it was so good. How do you plan to overcome adversity in your future? What is the greatest challenge you need to overcome that so you can continue to pursue your dreams? And what is your plan for dealing with criticism in the future? I mean, just a few questions. People don't want to ask those kind of questions. It's like, uh, I don't want criticism. I don't want to have to deal with the pain. I don't want to deal with the struggle. My father-in-law used to always say, you know what they're going to say about you, Zorro? And I said, what? He said, whatever they want. <laughs> so people are going to talk about, people, people are going to talk bad about us whether we do something or whether we don't do something. Right. So if they're going to talk bad about me, I'm going to, I'm going to listen to what God says about me. I'm going to hold on to his vision of me and God sees me the same way. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. Look at how you see your children mm -hmm. and that's how God sees you. I know. So if, 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 if I so love simple. my children and God loves me, then he, he sees me and he wants me to soar. He wants me yes. to, excel. and he wants, just like my children, I want them to overcome mm -hmm. adversity. Right. But you overcome that with faith and with trusting that, that, that God has the final say on you, not what other people. There's so many people have ridiculed me all throughout my life, but I have not let that stop me from pursuing the vision that God put in my heart. And by me fulfilling that, then I'm... I'm going to be impacting people, countless people around mm -hmm. the world. So the purpose of fulfilling our dream mm -hmm. is not so much just so we can experience this dream of being a famous drummer or whatever. It's so how many people can I affect through right. that dream? How many exactly. people can I touch? Yes. So it's not your dream and purpose isn't all about you. It's never about you. It's about each one of us has something that the other person needs in life. So our dream, my dream is going to f facilitate your dream. I'm an encourager, mm -hmm. I'm a teacher, I'm a rallier, and I inspire people. So that's going to help you set your dream on fire, and your dream is going to help me. We're going to help each other right. because we're, we're a family. We're the family of God. We're the family right. of Christ. And that's what we're supposed each, to Each component helps the other. I don't know, Zorro. If I were drumming for Lenny Kravitz, I might, it might all be about me at that moment <laughs> <laughs> and ending up. Okay, so... It's the struggle that makes you stronger. Sure. And a diamond is just a piece of coal that was made good under pressure. Absolutely. Well, here's the thing. God gave me, he's always given me inspirational quotes. I have thousands of them on my website yeah. that he downloads to me at three, four, or five in the morning. And the one he gave me the other day is, everybody wants to be a diamond, but no one wants to get cut. Ooh, that just sounds painful. <laughs> you cannot be a diamond without going through the process of, of being cut. You cannot be anything great without, by foregoing the process. So the thing is, we have a diamond's worth. We have gemstones of potential yes. inside of us that God deposited in you Amen. before the foundations of the earth. Before there was a thought of earth, they were already in you. Yeah. So the, the fallacy, the misconception is that we get more talented as we go. Mm -hmm. We never get more talented. We just uncover what was already there. Yeah. Yes, that's so good. And when you look back at your life, do you see like, oh, this is when I started to love drumming. Absolutely. This is when I started to love coaching and helping people. You can see the hand of God with his purpose in your life. Absolutely. When I was, when I was a real young boy, I wanted to write a book on camping, although yeah. I had never been camping. <laughs> But so I figured if I can't go, then I'm going to learn about it. And I checked out all the books in the library about That's camping. And my goal was to write a better book than anybody. <laughs> and then the drumming was very early yeah. on. I was attracted to rhythm. Yeah. So the gifts that are in us, they're already in us from birth. Yeah. And then all we have to do is discover them mm -hmm. and, then, and then develop them. And that's the part where we're accountable. The gift is free. Developing it costs you something. Yes. It's going to cost you your whole life. But... That's where the purpose and the joy and the significance of living comes from is pursuing that thing and turning that little, that little rock into mm -hmm. a diamond that everybody can see Amen. because it's, it's all possible. It's all inside of us. Right, right. And this isn't just for like young people that are figuring out what to do in college. You could be in your 30s or 40s and kind of be at a plateau or be like hitting your head against the ceiling and this will help you bust through it. My book and my message is for all people. Yeah. Anybody who's living who wants to be inspired, that's what it's for. Because every, mom, every morning that we wake up is mm -hmm. a new day to be discouraged. Because yes, there are so many discouraging right. circumstances in life and, and blows that we take and things that happen to us. So yep. every day we need to be encouraged. My message is for any age because we're not done 
we're not yeah. done in this planet until we're out of here. So right. there's always much more that we all have, whether we're 70, whether we're 80, whether we're 90. Mm -hmm. This whole idea of retirement is, is a death sentence because yes. retiring from what? Right. Retiring life. From, from your purpose, from impacting people. Right. If we live a self-centered life, we're never going to be fulfilled. So we're to impact so people till we're out of here. And so we all need to we all need to mine out the more potential that we have in us. I mean, I want to hear those words, you know, well done, good yes. and faithful servant. But if I'm not a, if I'm not, if I'm not a good and faithful servant, I'm not going to hear it. A, a good servant takes advantage of what God gave him and he right. multiplies it. And that's not, that doesn't have an age cap on it. No, that's right. Preach it, Zorro. <laughs> Zorro, the legendary drummer. Of all. Okay, so in your words, this is what I want to leave with. And yeah. thank you so much for thank your you. interview and your book and your heart. You're going to be with us to pray at the end. But I want to leave you with this. God loves you. He created you to have fellowship with him. God has a plan and a purpose for your life. And surrendering to God allows you access to that divine plan. Surrender your heart to God. He has an incredible plan for your life.